Welcome back Serial Eaters to another edition of What's in the Box. So what have we got for you this time? Well, given that it's October, I thought there could be nothing more topical than doing a Christmas edition of Kellogg Serial Promotions. So this has been in the market now for at least a month. Let's take a look. So as I mentioned, this is in the shops at the moment and you can't miss it because visually these really stand out. I think they're really uh, powerful sort of uh, advertising promotions, especially when you compare it to some of the other bland cereal uh, packets that are out there at the moment. Anyway, on this one, you'll see you've got this uh, retro image of Coco Monkey. So this goes back to the 1960s. He's obviously got his uh, Christmas hat on and uh, season's greetings. On the side, it shows you the uh, three brands of cereal that uh, uh, these sort of classic images are appearing in. And then on the back, you've got exactly the same image as well of uh, Coco Monkey. So the other ones that you can get are also this one here, which is uh, Corn Flakes with the uh, Norman Rockwell picture of Santa on the front. Now this has been issued a few times, so you'll have probably seen this before. But uh, again, on the side, it says exactly the same as uh, on the Coco Pops one and same copy on the back and finally this is the uh, rice krispies offer so uh, you've got this image of snap crackle and pop i don't quite know what they're doing high-fiving or ice skating in their shoes but uh, anyway on the side again you've got the promotion there you'll see the width of this packet though is really wide so it's uh, it's actually quite a nice size packet this one i think uh, and on the back you've got the same as well so I think this is a really nice promotion this one, very colourful, uh, I'm sure by the end of Christmas we'll have been bored sick of it, but uh, nice anyway. Now this isn't the first time that Kellogg's have actually promoted Christmas on their packets. Uh, one of the earlier ones that I've got is from 2014 and you'll see you've got this uh, cornflakes featuring Norman Rockwell on it. Now I'll show you this compared to the current one, you'll see it's uh, exactly the same image uh, the only difference is obviously uh, the season's greeting. Now on the side they're also slightly different in that this one has the night before Christmas uh, rhyme on it. So uh, nice little addition that one I thought. Now not only did they do this in uh, cornflakes but they also did it in Cocoa Pops and uh, here's the image of that one. This is Again, exactly the same as the current version that you've got at the moment, uh, with the exception of the Night Before Christmas uh, uh, story on the side. And then you've also got Frosties as well. So uh, really nice, I like this Frosties one, in terms of the image of uh, Tony the Tiger on that. Now it must have been a really successful promotion for Kellogg's in 2014, because in 2015 they came up with this. So uh, here you've got uh, Tony Tiger, obviously uh, in his Christmas hat. Uh, again you've got the Night Before Christmas verse on the side, and it's exactly the same on the reverse. In Coco Pops you've got uh, Coco Monkey obviously by his tree as well, again with the rhyme. And finally, in terms of Snap, Crackle and Pop for Rice Krispies, you've got them playing around outside too. So uh, these are really nice, these ones. And I think at the time they also did the uh, Corn Flakes with the Rockwell picture again. Now, one of the earliest ones that I've got in my collection is this from uh, 2003. So this is uh, Kellogg's Variety, where they had these uh, specially produced uh, packaging. Uh, you had the actual variety in there, so there was uh, eight packets of variety, and uh, there's uh, details of the ones on the back, which some have, have long since gone, so Honey Loops have gone, Frosters have gone, Crunches have gone, and Rice Schools have gone, so uh, half 50% of them. Now, the nice thing about this was that you could convert this into a sleigh with reindeers, so you slid this out, not too much, put it there. You could remove this as well, I've left this intact just for here, but you'll see that you've then got uh, Santa and his uh, reindeer, and you could obviously put all your variety boxes in there as well, so that the kids could have a bit of fun uh, Christmas day or Christmas morning, choosing whichever cereal that they wanted, although I'm sure they'd rather have gone for the presents. So that's a really nice item. 
sticking with the variety theme in 2017 uh, they came up with the advent calendar so I haven't got the actual variety boxes these are all in here but uh, uh, this had a massive 24 boxes of uh, variety so uh, the intention was that each day you open one of these uh, windows on the advent calendar and then you could obviously take the uh, the cereal as well off the back and uh, eat one of those so uh, I haven't actually ever opened these but uh, I think a couple of them might be open if you open them up it's a typical advent calendar behind it you heard a joke so what does Coco eat at Christmas Coco popsicles hmm, okay so anyway there's 24 jokes you can uh, see them behind the hair I've actually removed some of the card as well so you can see them a bit better and uh, here's a much better image of uh, of the jokes as well so you can see them so some of them aren't too bad you know what do elves collect for their fire Kel logs and then what's the snowman's favorite cereal frosties what happened to crackle after eating christmas decorations he got tinselitis so uh, some of these are really corny but uh, again nice bit of fun for the kids and uh, one of the other things that's good is you've got these activities on the back so uh, you've got a word search and you've also got obviously the spot the difference you've got a maze and then uh, one of the other things i like is this uh, image of coco monkey on the top so uh, the intention here is you obviously held this up against your face and here's uh, here's what it looks like when i did it with myself and here's also what it looked like when i did it with our pet dog freddy so uh managed to get him to keep still for a bit which wasn't bad so that was in 2017 in 2018 Kellogg's obviously followed on from this and actually uh, offered cereal bars so uh, slightly different here's uh, images of the actual packet themselves I don't actually have the box anymore now because it was quite bulky especially with all the uh, cereal bars in it but uh, again this is slightly different in the sense that you obviously opened each day of the calendar and you had a cereal bar inside it so there you have it uh, that's us all ready for Christmas now with our Christmas cereals all prepped up and uh, ready to eat hope you enjoyed this uh, special festive edition of uh, what's in the box now you might also like to carry on watching the classic Christmas Kellogg's ad that they have released numerous times over the years but uh, this one features Santa and I really like this one I don't know. This seems very strange to me. Look, this guy's been working all night and he's looking forward to a good breakfast. He's going to remember us. great pride in the quality food products we make and work hard all year to bring our best to you each morning. He must have liked them. At this very special time of year. Don't worry, maybe you'll see him next year. Ho, ho, ho. We wish you and yours the very best of everything. If you're interested in this and other cereal items, then please subscribe to this channel, like and share it, or visit my website cerealoffers.com and click on Kellogg's.